Hello, I'm Shara Wirtz and welcome to Pennside Presbyterian's Midweek Devotions. We'll start this morning with a song called The Blessing, sung by David Cullen. It's a song that was released earlier this year in April when a pastor had the idea about getting multi-generational, multicultural churches across the world to sing the song, The Blessing. David? Thank you, David. Let us pray. God, give us laughter, O source of our life. Laughter can banish so much strife. Laughter and love give us wholeness and health. Laughter and love are the coin of true wealth. Give to us laughter as a sign of deep joy, joining with stars and with bright northern lights, laughing and praising and sharing delights. Even in sorrow and hour of grief, laughter with tears bring us relief. God, give us laughter and give us peace. Joy of your promise among increase. Amen. A reading from Psalm chapter 126, verses 1 through 6. A song of ascents. When the Lord brought back the captives to Zion, we were like men who dreamed. Our mouths were filled with laughter our tongues with song of joy. Then it was said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us and we are filled with joy. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, 
like streams in the Negev. Those who sow in tears will reap with songs of joy. He who goes out weeping, carrying seed to sow, will return with songs of joy, carrying sheaves with him. My reflection is on smiling. I recently came across a daily devotion from 2010 posted by Grace Harbor Church. In the troubling times of 2020, this really jumped out at me and provided a message of joy and hope, something that can be found in a smile. Have you ever thought about what a smile can do for someone? Have you ever been walking through a grocery store and looked at each person walking past you and smiled at them? Notice how they respond. Some may be surprised, others may hesitate for a moment, but I would say 99 out of 100 people will smile back. It is an unspoken gesture of goodwill and friendship. Most people hurry past you with their eyes down, lost in thought, but when they look up, wouldn't it be nice for an unexpected surprise to have them greeted with a smile from you, one of God's ambassadors, and that would be you. A smile costs nothing and gives so much. When you see a tired sales clerk at the counter of the store, start your conversation with a quiet smile. It brings a sense of peace to the other person without speaking a word. It allows the Spirit of God to reach through you to that person's life. You don't know what that person is dealing with. Perhaps the last customer just yelled at them and insulted them, and they are recovering from that wound. Your smile can bring peace and comfort, reassurance that the whole world isn't against them. Perhaps they are waiting to get off their shift to go to work a second job to put food on their table. A smile can pause the moment and remind them that someone cares. Maybe they have a loved one in the hospital or a sick child at home. A smile lets them know that they are not alone. You don't have to say a lot of fancy words or Bible verses. Simply share the love of Christ with a smile and watch God do the rest. Who knows where God could lead the conversation? Maybe an opportunity to share why you can smile even when things are tough, or you can offer to pray for whatever is weighing them down. When I consider God's face shining on me, I see him smiling. I feel his power and I sense the joy of his presence surrounding me. And it gives me such comfort to know that his light brightens even the darkest of days. I know that we will all get busy with our work and our families and our lives and sometimes get lost in our own thoughts as we go along our days. But I have a challenge for you over the coming days. As you go through your day, wherever God takes you, make it a point to consciously smile with at least 10 people each day and watch what happens. Let the love and the light of God shine through your smile and see the amazing divine appointments that God will set before you. So again, I say to you, smile. It can make all the difference to the others who see it. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I just ask that you be with each and every person that is listening to this message today and bring them comfort and peace in this troubling time. And we just ask that you be with those who aren't feeling well and we lift up all their unspoken prayer needs to you. We ask this through you who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. May God's spirit swirl all around you and leave you with a grin. And may that grin turn into a smile. And may that smile turn into an act of kindness. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Amen.